what is going on everybody sylvania 1012 here and welcome to a unboxing of loot gaming which i don't do these very often but if they have like a theme that seems like really interesting to me or something has like things that i am interested in yeah sure i'm gonna get it and then skip the next one if i don't want it and everything because they have that option and that's fucking great because you don't have to waste 30 dollars for that shit that's also including shipping and handling anyway so yeah I got loot gaming and also I'm gonna have another one um, hopefully soon so I'll have like one for next month but that's actually a loot vault um, box and I got to pick one that they had in the past that I really fucking wanted because I had no idea that was even a thing and I gave some people shit for it because they had a shirt that I really really fucking wanted and now I'm gonna get it so I can't wait to fucking get it because you can't have enough shirts anyway and uh, where the hell did I put my knife? Anyway, I do apologize if you, you keep hearing like my chair squeaking because this thing, uh, I don't know how much longer it's going to last, but eh, whatever. Getting right into it. It's been a while. Oh, that's kind of cool. And the thing that I like about most of these boxes is that um, you can fold them up into things, which is really neat. Oh, where's the Where's the thing? Is this a poster? That looks like a poster that they bent. Why do they always put the thing at the bottom? This always seems to be my fucking problem. The thing is always at the bottom. Guys, put the pamphlet at the top. Um, I'm just gonna have to take fucking everything out. Unless that thing I took out was the pamphlet. Is this the pamphlet? Like, what, what are you? Are you the pamphlet? Are you a pamphlet and a poster? I don't know. What are you? You you look like a poster. You're a poster pamphlet. The fuck? This thing's huge. Jesus. What's on this side? F. I don't know. What is it? It looks fucking cool. So are the other things on the other side. Whoa. Oh, that's what I got. Okay. Um, it's like I have a fucking map here. Anyway. I got some stuff in here I don't really care about, but whatever. Um, there was something they sent me in an email, and it was a, uh, a free game code to a game called Dub Wars. Um, I didn't realize that it was basically kind of like Beat Hazard. I actually have to check it out and everything because it seemed like really fucking cool. What the hell? Huh. Okay, anyway, before I'm like getting majorly distracted, they got something from XCOM in here, wherever the fuck it is. Why couldn't they just do a pamphlet like they did the last time when I did this? Like, shit. Okay, correction, XCOM 2. On the thing, it just says XCOM. Now, I've never played XCOM. I don't even think I have that in my Steam list. Other people play it, so that's cool. Figure is pretty- it's a figure. Bear with me, I actually, uh, I cut my finger at work, so it's like... Ow. And of all things, it's my middle finger too, so it'd be like if I had banded on it'd be a good fucking reason to flip people off. Anyway. No, I'm not real, I'm just talking out of my ass. Throw that out. Again with the tape. That is pretty fucking cool. Never play the game. But this little guy. Hopefully he focuses. Yeah, he's... Focus again. He's pretty fucking cool. I like that. Whoa, he's gonna fall. Um. Hang out with Runt. I'm gonna have... Squeaky edition. Gotta love my squeaky chair. Okay, and now we also got a... Never played this game. I don't plan on ever playing this game. It's a Destiny scarf. Made out of fleece. 
Too bad I live in Florida. Even though, like, right now I have my window open and everything. Even, even though my mom still has the air conditioning on. I need air in my room because it just gets stuffy in here because of all the heat that we endure. Hmm. Okay, overall quality, it feels nice. Now, design-wise, since I've never played Destiny, I know nothing. You guys tell me design-wise, what do you think? My help. Why does it look like a like a uh, like seriously? I've always made fun of the damn logo. It looks like a little fucking like a uh, jockstrap armor. But that's actually pretty neat. I think I would never wear because one, I'm a big. This looks more like it's made for a kid. I don't even know how to fucking wear a scarf. I think I'm doing it wrong, like partially. But I'm, I live in Florida. I have no need for a scarf. And people that wear scarves in Florida, what the fuck is wrong with you? Anyway, moving on. Add that to over there. My main reason of getting um, this loot box, because it's a space edition, um, yeah. Because I said Mass Effect in it, so of course you know I'm going to fucking get it. That's actually, I like that. Like, I don't have enough, I, <laughs> I have, I have four and seven jackets, and I have Tally Zora's, um, angle jacket, which I recently just got. Now I got a t-shirt, so, now when Nako chan and I can go out and everything, we're gonna do something like, ma I wanna record something that's Mass Effect themed, as, as like a tribute, uh, video, now I can wear a t-shirt and not die. In a hoodie. Perfect. Gotta wash that. I just smacked my microphone. I apologize. Um. Then there is a, a, another game I've never played, but a lot of people do give it some praise or a lot of praise and everything because they like it that much. So, is a uh, Ratchet and Clank Omni Wrench Pen. That's actually pretty fucking cool. Just probably hang that up somewhere. Sorry, I'm being so loud with the plastic and everything. That's pretty neat. It's like a little pen. And it's a little wrench. It's actually paint wise, like the way they did it, it's pretty fucking good. Paint job wise. It looks pretty good. I like it. I don't know. I think maybe I'll give it to Nako Chan because she does like little knickknack stuff like this. And I think she has played Ratchet and Clank. So, making sure I had to read that again to make sure I was like saying the game right because I don't need to get butchered like the first time I made one of these videos. Anyway, so I'll probably give her that. And then the last thing is a space coin pen because apparently, with every box they give you, I guess like they have a different like theme pen. So, I got a space pen. I'm gonna take it out of the damn packaging so it won't reflect. Get. Anyway, <laughs> that thing was annoying. That was pretty neat. I like that. It's very simple. It's pretty. Now, <laughs> I know I just like threw this all over the place. Um. But they also have, I don't know when the hell this is though. It's like head to space on Mass Effect New Earth. A thrilling ride at California's Great America. Okay, so apparently this is something that's only in California. So if you happen to live in California, I fucking hate you. But anyway, um, one lucky winner plus a guest will be flown to the Great America. Okay, never mind if you happen to win the fly there. But still, if you have, like, easy access to get there, I fucking hate you. Not really. Um, we've flown to the great America of, uh, Santa, Cl Santa Clara, California, to spend a day at the park and then blast off into space on a new Mass Effect experience. So that's pretty fucking cool. I don't know where the hell you'd go to sign up for that shit unless, probably on the loot, on the loot site. But yeah. The only thing that sucks 
is that this poster it's got a nice hole in it from the way that they uh they fold it and everything but and it's got creases and shit like that in it so it's like it wouldn't be worth framing but it's still pretty neat but yeah that is that is my unboxing of loot gaming for december of 2016. I haven't done one of these videos in a long time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed this box because I know in the past you've seen the look on my face. I'm just kind of like, I should be excited, but I'm not. Because some of those boxes were pretty fucking disappointing, especially like arcade block. Some of those were pretty disappointing. Although some of them, some of those items I did keep like the uh, Zelda canvas, that shit was pretty cool. Which I actually have it hanged up somewhere over there. When I do finally get my room straightened up and everything it's still under construction i'll just show you shit that i have no big deal i have a lot of crap <laughs> but anyway i'd like to thank you guys for watching and also the people that have stayed subscribed to me even though i'm not that active i do appreciate that you guys still watch my stuff even if you guys don't really talk to me and give me feedback and everything but i do appreciate it and hopefully you'll be able to see some actual like live gaming content but again as always internet issues because AT&T you suck anyway your customer service sucks anyway still but yeah I've got some stuff stuff planned out I just need to make the time to do it I'm just so glad that the holidays are over and also, I really hope that you guys had a great holiday, and if not, I'm right there with you. It was just another day to me. This holiday season was weird. That's all I got. Take care. Oh, playground again. I remember going by this with Chris panda. and Pierce. Wait, that's, is that a panda? That is the weirdest looking fucking panda ride I've ever seen. Where's its legs? Panda ride. Wait, 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 oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh God. That is, that is one ugly panda bitch. <laughs> I wouldn't even fuck it with a koala's dick. <laughs> you remember that? Yes. Oh, that is wrong. Look at this. Yeah, I know.